Chidoro Ventura Santos, a devout Catholic and a great philanthropist, a well-known benefactor of several charitable institutions, helped in founding the Mabalakat Institute, thereby living up to his vision and philosophy of enabling those who have less in life to stand on their own feet. He believed that by educating them, teaching them a craft or trade, and empowering them, they may be able to help themselves and help others who are in need. On August 30, 1979, Chidoro B. Santos, a truly Christian gentleman, a man of God and a man for others, founded, organized, and established a foundation called Santos Ventura Hokorma Foundation, Incorporated. He was the nephew of Honorio Ventura Santos, Interior Minister of the late President Manuel L. Quezon. Mr. Honorio Santos was acknowledged to be the patron of the late President Josdado Macapagal, whose education he supported. A generous person, Don Chidora donated almost all of his personal belongings and holdings to the SBHFI in order for the foundation to achieve its noble mission of helping improve the quality of life of the poor but deserving students. He was particularly concerned with the poor seminarians and novices of Pampanga. Don Chidoro firmly believed in the value of education and insisted that the SVHFI should help the poor help themselves through proper human development. A true believer, he chose trustees and members of the foundation with similar vision in the persons of Bishop Federico Escaler, S.J., the late architect Ambassador Jose Maria Saragossa Sr., the late educator Professor Ariston Estrada, and lastly a church leader, Domingo El Mapa. They constituted the original Board of Trustees of SDHFI. Eventually, new members who shared the same vision were appointed to help the SVHFI attain its noble goals. The new members are Aside from scholarship grants, donations to charitable institutions, and individual assistance, the Foundation reaches out to help more needy youth through other activities. In 1982, Don Teodoro donated a 7-hectare land in Tagaytay City, now home of the Focolari Center for Men. He also fully lead the ideals and principles of unity and love pursued by Chiara Lubic, founders of the Focolari Movement. On June 11, 2005, the Foundation donated a parcel of its property to Gawad Kalinga in Barangay Tabung, Babalakat, Pampanga to provide shelter and home to the poor families in the area. The groundbreaking ceremony was attended by Professor Domingo L. Mapa, Councillor Jerry M. Basilio of Mabalakat, Pampanga, and Couples for Christ and its Family Ministries of the Gawad Kalinga. The Foundation also provides assistance to students who can play musical instruments. It provides scholarship grants and additional training to further develop their skills. During the training, the Foundation provides organized activities such as values formation programs, weekend music camps, seminars, and regular performances to enhance their skills to a level that will qualify them 
for future scholarship offerings from different colleges and universities in Metro Manila. Some of the members qualified to perform in international presentations and some were selected as members of professional brass bands. Thus, with a group of former band players and a group of some aspiring new ones, the SVHFI band was established. Foundation has expanded its assistance and has extended its full support in the promotion of Filipino culture to visiting foreign students. It provides board and lodging to these students while assisting them in understanding the Philippine culture through trips, visits, seminars, cultural shows, and immersions. A group of Cambodians and Vietnamese students were treated to a cultural experience they will always remember, instilling in them a good image of our country. Since 1983, SVHFI has been engaged in revenue-generating undertakings such as agribusiness projects before the tragedy of Mount Pinatubo and real estate and commercial stocks investment. These enable the foundation to give continuing scholarship grants and donations to religious organizations and needy parishes. Today, the members of the foundation have reached out to help more young people in need through activities that will enable them to find meaning in work, to gain knowledge and experience, and to learn to take charge of their own lives. Amidst the growing poverty of our people, and the seeming hopelessness and helplessness of our poor, the need of the present hour is hope. Santos Ventura Hakorma Foundation Incorporated provides that hope. Where there is darkness, it shines as a beacon to guide our poor youth to self-empowerment for a better future.